Hello friends, here's 10 ideas that you can do for a Mother's Days during quarantine. Number one, cook for your mom. And I have actually three versions of it. Option number one, you cook for your mom, you serve it, you have a dinner together in case if during quarantine you live with her. And most importantly, that you do dishes for her <laughs> after you cook all this messy dinner. A second version of it, if you don't live with your mother, but you live somewhere nearby, is that you cook a dinner, you actually drive to her place, drop it off by the door, she picks it up, and then you can actually have a dinner with her by just having it in front of the window or a sliding door. You put in two tables right in front of a mirror, no, I mean not mirror, obviously, window or a sliding door, and you have a dinner and the only thing separates you is that sliding door or a window. And another version, obviously, if she lives on the 5th or 10th floor, you can still cook that dinner, bring it to her, she can pick it up, warm it at her place. You drive back to your place and you eat exactly the same dinner, you just chat over Zoom, or FaceTime or Skype. And of course, if you live completely in a different state or in a different country and you can't cook anything for her, you can order something online. This website that I found, Harry and David, currently doing some special branches that you can order it's already finished made for her just brings to her place she can pick it up and warm it that way you can still zoom over chat and facetime and have a nice brunch with her they don't have options for exact dinner but you can still pick lots of different types of boxes that they bring it into or different type of uh, ideas that comes in this brunch option two is actually buying her favorite skincare or make it at home. You probably should be aware of what's her favorite skincare brand, a certain product that she might like. It could be makeup as well, but probably your mother will be more into skincare. At least my mom is more into skincare. And another thing that you can do is instead of buying skincare, you can make it at home. There's a certain DIY I'm trying to come up with, creating this skin, like organic skincare at home. Like my mom, she loves everything it comes to organic and homemade, including all those special oils, organic oils, so using fruits and vegetables, she's in love with that. So obviously if you make something like that, she's gonna be very happy. Number three, her favorite flowers. You cannot have a Mother's Day without the great flowers. But instead of just ordering the flowers and bring it to her place or order so it's delivered to her place, you can either paint her favorite flower or you can make it from paper for someone who is younger just to want to paint the flowers or maybe sew it or knead it. That could be another version. I done it when I was a little younger, I actually painted her favorite flowers. I took a piece of paper. I wet it and I use a watercolor so it all kind of look abstract in terms of her favorite flowers. And her favorite flowers is actually white lilies. So not all stores could deliver her favorite flowers and that could be a version for you to do during a quarantine. Number four, Ipsy subscription. Some of you might heard of it. If you never heard about it, I think it's a great way to do something since you're not that happens probably 10 times at the same times. It's a negative side of wearing clips versus earrings. Where was I? Right, Ipsy subscription. So, Ipsy has three memberships. One is the cheapest one, then you pay a little more and a little more, and then it comes to five mini products or several more products in the full sizes or completely full sizes products. Each of them comes with a different design bags and the different products. The great thing about this Ipsy, that it's not just the random products that you don't know what's exactly coming. Yes, you don't know, but you still take a test that will bring something that you're interested in. So once you take that test, you put things that describes your type of skin, for example, um, older skin, or you're looking for aging products, or you have a fair or darker skin, is it sensitive or like combination, what type of products you're interested in. So if I select it for my mom, I'll pick more skincare products versus picking all this makeup and fragrance. If I would order like for myself, I would pick something that have more makeup, less fragrance, but more skincare too. 
and then you pick in all different colors so i know my mom's favorite color is purple so if i pick anything comes to a little makeup in there i would pick all the options that has a purple in it included the purple nail polish that way you can choose one of those three different memberships in ipsy pick what sizes you want you take that test well for her if you want to make it more a surprise you pick what she's interested in you pick what type of skincare she has or skin type she has you, you should know that <laughs> and then you order something and it comes once a month for those products and if she likes any of those products maybe you can buy that later in the full size for her number five matching necklaces Yes, you sometimes have matching necklaces, not just to you BFF in fourth grade, but you can still order something that would have maybe a heart shape or a certain animal that might be attached together and you kind of like break it apart and you both wear it. Me and my mom has something like this. We actually have a heart that broken like in the middle and it's two different necklaces and you wear it. Obviously, if you want to order something really nice, both of those shape hearts that we have and the chains are gold it's not sterling silver; it's actually gold so like if you get something for your mom you want it to be really nice present not something that would fall apart really soon same way it could be maybe matching rings or matching bracelets if your mom is comfortable to wear something one versus the other one or maybe you want to get all three that will be matching number six kiss in the frame yes you can make actual card for her that'll be handwritten handmade and most important our pants are missing our hugs and kisses so maybe if you put some lipstick and kiss it and give it to your mom she's gonna be really happy if you're a guy you can still put the lipstick on and kiss it she'll probably still appreciate it <laughs> she will not list it it's your lips and she'll be happy to see something like that or it could be just a homemade card that'll be a great gift as well number six i just recently discovered i think it's awesome the quality of it is awesome it's a macaroni that you can order at eatmeprint.com and you put any picture you want on top of it so idea is you're selecting your favorite pictures and they print it on top of the macaroni and when it comes in the box i think there's like six or nine of them when it comes in the box you have those beautiful pictures i have a feel that probably your parent will get in like i don't want to eat it and just store it and then it'll get so bad but it's still gonna look gorgeous and keep it in the box but it could be a great gift not even for your mom but if you want to get it to your friend or close person and you put those favorite pictures in there i would say your mom will definitely appreciate if you put some of your baby pictures in there <laughs> number seven this is my favorite gift I actually have it to show it to you, but I have to find those gifts and I have to actually call them out right now. <laughs> okay, I found those amazing gifts that you can get to your mom. So this one is more my favorite because my mom not into cats. She's a dog person, but there's one more pet that she wants to get is parrot. Not pirate, but parrot. I pronounce those two words exactly the same and I know exactly one person would make fun of me right now <laughs> so that could be another version of a quarantine survival of having a pet at home number eight make candles for your mom yes you can buy beautiful candles that might have some special smell to it or a certain brand that you might be in love with but again making a candle for your mom that could be specific shape or we're using the older candle for her or just buying a product that you can make a new candle that could be a great gift because you can write on it something make a shape or even maybe write something on it that she loves or color that she likes so i have a bunch of uh, videos i done similar like that gel candles or using creating heart shaped candles i'll provide in description box below links for something that you can make at home like a candle i think at this point i messed up the order i was coming so this is supposed to be number 10 right now numbers is not my thing <laughs> so number 10 is order stuff personalized special for your mom so there's a website called personalization mall you can order everything you can probably imagine in your creative head and order it with the picture with the name logo color you like it could be vine 
bottle or cups, uh, t-shirts, something crystal shaped heart that will have a picture and an of you and your mom or maybe write something that important for her and other things that they have like blankets everything but it's all specially made with the wording color pictures that you want and most important to make it special for your mom not just a simple blanket that you want to get for her but it's something more unique for her Thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below one of your 10 favorite things that you like from today's ideas. And if you plan to do anything special for your mom during the quarantine day, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time in my videos. And Lulu is going to say bye. Bye. <laughs>